بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم قال المصنف رحمه الله عليه وعن سهل بن سعد رضي الله تبارك وتعالى عنهما ان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لا يزال الناس بخير ما عجل الفطر متفق عليه سيدنا سعد بن سيدنا سعد may Allah تبارك وتعالى be pleased with both of them now it is that the holy prophet صلى الله عليه واله وصحبه وسلم said the people will continue to be on the right path as long as they hasten in the breaking of the fast and read the book la yazalu an-nas bi khair khair here means khair means goodness but here it means the right path i mean it means both because the right path is itself goodness qalu litmiri min hadith abi hurairah radiyallahu anhu an an-nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم قال قال الله عز وجل احب عبادي الي اعجلهم فطرا الامام الترمذي reports from the hadith of sayyidna abu huraira رضي الله تبارك وتعالى from the holy prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم who said that allah عز وجل said the most beloved to me of my slaves of my servants is the one who hastens most in breaking the fast ahabbu ibadi ilayya a'jaluhum fitra so people think that hastening the fast is to break one's fast five minutes before maghrib or something like that i heard that so many times but hastening to break one's fast is to do break one's fast right after sunset we have to make sure that the sun has set if we don't break our fast one minute before sunset our soul our fast is not valid على انس بن مالك وعن انس بن مالك رضي الله تبارك وتعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تسحروا فان في السحور بركه سيدنا انس بن مالك ما الله تعالى بي بليز ويز هيم نيرت ذا ذهولي مسنجر اوف الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said take a meal just before dawn sahur for there is a blessing there is barakah in uh, in sahur in taking a meal at that time agreed upon so people say when i take sahur um, it gets me tired you know i prefer not to eat anything it is not about what you prefer is about what the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells you to do for every goodness is in obeying and following his path and every evil is in disobeying his his way of course sahur is not an obligation but whenever the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said something and we do otherwise whenever we do otherwise we are killing his sunnah and whoever continues to kill his sunnah will most likely kill the fault and whoever whoever kills the fault will without any doubt perish as allah afiy qalu an salman bin ya'ani al-dabbi radiyallahu tabarak wa ta'ala anhu an an-nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala idha afthara ahadukum fal يفطر على تمر فليفطر على تمر فان لم يجد ف 
فليفطر على ما فإنه طهور رواه الخمسة وصححه بن خزيمة وابن حبان والحاكم رحمة الله عليه سيدنا سلمان بن عامر الضبي may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala be pleased with him narrated that the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when one of you breaks once fast they should do so with some dates but if they cannot get any they should break their fast with water for it is purifying reported by imam al reported by the kham by al khamsa al khamsa means the five imams we have repeated their names many times ibn khuzaimah bin hibban and al imam hakim graded uh, it this hadith as authentic may allah tabarak wa ta'ala grant all of us acceptance hada wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa miqdarihi